Okay, so we got a H2O mob X5. So I will show you how to assemble uh, H2O mob X5. All right. Okay, first attach the mop head to the main body. Insert the swipe swivel joint into the design air hole in the main body until it locks into place with the lock button on the main body. There you go. Okay. Next, insert the extension handle into the design and opening in the main body until it gets locked in place with the extension handle lock button. Insert the curved handle into the design and opening of the extension handle until it gets locked in the place with the curved handle lock button. Looks good. Make sure both parts, the extension handle and the carved handle are secured in the place before usage. Next, turn the lower cord left to align the cord channel. Opening with the cord channel in the extension handle. Insert the power supply cord all the way in its channel and then turn the lower cord left to lock the power supply cord. Yep, yep. Let's see, here we go. All right. That looks good. So the last part is uh, insert the power supply cord into the cord holder located on the top extension handle yeah mm -hmm. all right place a microfiber cloth on the bottom of the mop head and then make sure all the loops on the cloth are aligned with the clipping hook on the bottom of the mop head so yeah that's the one and put it on okay That looks good. All right. Uh, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna pour the water. Okay. Let's fill the water tank. Make sure that the HMOP X5 is unplugged. Turn the water tank cap counterclockwise. <laughs> All right. Uh, oops. Okay. And um, hold them up at the 45 degree angle and add the water in the tank up to the max level by using measuring cup. Only a 400 milliliter. And do not overfill. All right, replace the water tank cap and then turn clockwise approximately 90 degree to the close position. You're right, okay. That's good. Um, H2 mop X5 uses the top border. However, this is fine. All right. Uh, so we are going to start using this next.